Oh snap, you might get three drink reviews in three days. Eighth was there on a Sunday night, and no, I'm not at Hooters. For everybody to be like, oh, you at Hooters, aren't you? I'm not at Buffalo Wild Wings, which is also my other kicking spot. I'm not at the hangout either. I'm at a new spot. It's actually my second time here, but it's still kind of new. Oh, Chicago. Pizza joint here that just opened up about two months ago. And I like it. I like the atmosphere. I like the way it looks. The staff appears to be very friendly thus far. And again, you know, this is my second time being here. And when I was here three weeks ago, I was about here within about, came around 11 o'clock. And same thing with today. So I might have to come early in the daytime and see how the, um, see how the day show rocks, rocks up. But you know, when you got freaking Hooters and Buffalo Wild Wings around you and fry, TGI Fridays, which is Fridays now, you know, it's really hard to expand her, her horizons. You know, we got Carabas and you know, we got Carabas and freaking um, chilies and all that around here. I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care for chilies like that, except for uh, the baby bat rails. That's the only thing I like from there. Carabas is pretty good, though. I gotta give them props. Um, but today, yeah, tonight, you're getting a beer review. And this may be uploaded tomorrow. We'll see. Um, what I'm trying is the Athena. It's based right here in the state of Georgia. I should have done my research before I done this video, but yeah, it's definitely here in the state. Of, it's definitely based. Uh, oh, never mind. It's based, it's based in Athens. So based on trying, I'm trying enemy territory beer. As y'all know, I'm a, I'm a Florida Gators fan. I hate the UGA puppies. And UGA is based out of Athens, so. But here we go, the Athena. Let's see if Athens is good for something else. Besides REM and um and uh, dang, what's the other group? B let's see if let's see if Athens is good for anything else besides REM and B52s. Love Shack, you know. Losing my religion. No, let's see if they good for beer. Yeah, they breaking glasses back there too. Tastes a little sour. Oh, you tasted it before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bartender caught me looking, caught me drinking it. She's like, it's sour, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sour though. But no, usually I get like two twig, two swigs. Overall, I give it another 7 out of 10. It's not bad. You know, I don't think I've ever had sour beer a day in my life until about almost a month ago when I was at a place called The Tap, which is downtown here in my city. And I forgot the beer I, was, I had. I should have, I, mean, I was going to do a beer review on that, but considering people I was around and what was going on around me, I just couldn't do it. But yeah, sour. That's, that's kind of my first experience with sour beer, so this is my second time having it. Not bad, you know. Like I said, I'm trying to spend my horizon when it comes to beer. You know, I don't try to stick with the usual, the basic, uh, of course, Miller, you know, like how people are, you know. Don't be afraid to spend your horizon, y'all. But yeah, I can see myself getting this again, though. I'm doing a video just in case you were wondering. But yeah. But yeah, um, it appears when I upload it. So probably tonight. It could be tomorrow, but if I upload tomorrow. Um, also expect another beer review. Like I say, you, you're lucky. Y'all getting three drink reviews in three days. I'm actually gonna do um, vanilla porter tomorrow. Yeah, I'm doing yeah vanilla porter. I'll be doing that tomorrow. I did find it at a bottle shop today. They still had it. Took me a little while to find it, guys. I like it's in a different spot, whatever. But yeah, as I found it, and they still got the Yeti, so that'll probably come in towards the end of the month, though. I might do the Yeti then. That crap costs fourteen dollars. Not that I'm cheap, but I'm just saying. No, I never. For a six pack, costs fourteen dollars. It better be good. 
Yeah, yeah. See, so, yeah, watching the Bears game. Um, Bears up fifteen to six. And the crazy thing about it is that the first time I was here three weeks ago, the Bears were playing. They were playing the uh, Minnesota Vikings. So apparently, it seemed like Chicago Bears gonna be playing every time be at um, or Chicago. I don't know if I'm gonna. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be out next Saturday. I might make a stop, pit stop here next Saturday if if it comes down to it. We'll see. What's wrong? Just in case you're wondering, I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video right now. Yeah, I just let you know. Just in case you're just wondering what's going on down here. Okay. I like her already. She's great. Hold on. Just gonna say. And what's your name? Brittany. Nice to meet you, Brittany. Nice to meet you. All right. But yeah, I'm. Got me on it. Huh? But yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. I'm gonna continue watching the Bears game while I wait on my pizza to go. Then I'm probably gonna go home after this. So um, that's, that's gonna do it for now. So hope y'all tune in next time. Tomorrow, that is, for the Vanilla Quarter. I'll holla at y'all later.